Hey guys, welcome. We've got a fun video for you today. We're going to install the Polk speakers. Focus. We're going to install the Polk speakers, the Rocks speaker pods, and we've got a Kenwood amp under the dash, as well as a 12 volt battery. Make sure to check out the description below for any more details on any of these items and have fun watching and hopefully your installs go as well as mine. All right, let's get started. So today we're going to start on our stereo install. So first off, let's remove our seat. Okay, so we've got a few things to do. So one, we have to mount our amplifier. Two, we have to mount our speaker pods. And then three, we just have to mount the speakers within the speaker pods. So I'm just gonna use an extra 12 volt battery I have um, laying around so it actually mounts perfectly in there. I'll put a strap on it, but, um, but it's a good little natural spot. So first, let's take this dash panel off and look under there, see what we can find. Okay, so we're going to take these big torques off, and these are the Torx T40s. Uh, we do have to take these kick panels off to mount the speakers, but we'll investigate on our wiring as well with them off. Okay, so that just pulls right off. Oh, that it was two pieces, but... Okay, so now that we've got that off, let's pull, let's actually let's work on this rubber mat so we can see, so we can see what our wire running is going to look like. Okay, so now we're going to take these, these plugs off. I hate these, they always break, so let's try to salvage them. Never salvageable. Oh, that came off pretty good. Let's try this one. It looks like we've got one left in the corner. Okay, looks like we're good. Let's see how we are back here. Looks like we're good. Okay, think that may be it. All right, let's pull, pull her off. See what we're working with. Okay. Okay. Looks like the brake pedal, we don't need to take those screws off the brake because it'll just fit right around it. Oh, I missed one. I missed one. Two. Okay, there's one. Two. Do I have any more? Yes, these little guys are hidden. Three, okay. No wonder it wasn't coming off easy, okay. And we're off. Whew. Okay, just because we're in here, I could probably fit the wires underneath, but let's just Plop these out too and get a nice clean and feel free to free to fast forward. If not, we can hum a tune tune along together. Have I mentioned that I hate these things? I'm sure they have some 
special tool. Now that we've got a way to wire, we still need to figure out our amp mounting, so let's pull this off. Got one Torx there. Three. Now our bumper's loose. Now if we remember from the dash meter video, we have some snaps. Okay. Pull straight up. Do the same over here. Pull straight out. Okay. We'll remove our switches. There we go. Okay. Let's move the dash. Okay, so we're gonna pull the cup holder mount off. So there's 10 millimeter screws on the bottom here. More like a little retaining bolt. Okay, flips out. 